my name is Craig French, Program Manager, Wool Harvesting, Training and Development. A key part of wool handling is the first part of the fleece to be shorn is the belly wool. In this case, the, the belly wool is a six month shorn animal. The belly wools tend to have a lower tensile strength and therefore have a lower value when processing. It will go into the carding section but must be kept separate from the fleece wool. The stains and the shanks and the locks are all very important parts to keep removed from the sheep being shorn and the fleece being shorn from the sheep. So the shanks have medulated fibres that must be removed. You can see the medulated fibres in there, the hollow white short fibres and they must be removed because that will contaminate the wool. The medulated fibre is hollow and will not take the dye at the same rate as what the wool does and that you can see on the shanks. The stain is urine stain or dung stain. The stain pieces with urine stain, heavy urine stain, must be removed as those urine stains will not dye a pastel shade and must be kept out. So it's really important that we keep the crutch out when the, the wool's being shorn from the sheep. This is the locks and the locks are short fibres that fall through the table and on the board and they must be kept separate from all other types of wool. So here's an example of some contamination. This is polypropylene and it will contaminate that wool and must be kept separate. So this is some black and pigmented wool and of course it must be removed and identified and labelled as dark and pigmented and must be kept separate because it can cause major problems of course with dyeing and processing. Okay so the fleece is thrown onto the table and in this case the skirtings are removed from the edges of the fleece. The reason the skirtings are removed is, is to remove the lower quality wool that has higher VM levels and this causes problems in processing. So the pieces or the skirtings which is removed from the edges of the fleece have higher VM, sweat, sweaty edges are also lower in value. So they must be kept separate from the fleece wool. Here's the fleece wool. Bearing in mind this is only six months growth. However, the length is still long enough to comb. This length would be roughly 60 to 65 millimetres in length. And it's sound, it's clean, it's been skirted, and it's ready for the top line. It is important that we skirt the fleece and remove those inferior edges. This is the sliver top that this fleece will, will be made into. This is an example of the noil, which is all the short fibres and the VM that's removed. So what we call top and noil from this fleece wall. There's also what we call open top. So open top is similar to sliver top, but it breaks away and it's, it's what they call open top or French combing top. And that's made from shorter wools. Like this fleece would maybe make this open top or this sliver top, depending on the fashion. So here I have two samples of carbonised product. This is a good colour carbonised product made from short carding type wools such as locks, crutchings, lambs. Um, that's good colour so no stain in this particular type. This particular carbonised product you can see has some stain in that. So this is still a good product. It's a carbonised product but it carries a lot higher levels of stain in, in that product. 
and this is from a carding wools, all wools under 50 millimetres or less. So the bellies, the locks, the stain would all go into this product. So wools are classed into two categories, carding and combing. Carding wools are short wools under 50 millimetres and these wools are carbonised. Before they're carbonised they're put into the scour to release the wool grease and then processed into a carbonised product as we spoke about earlier. This carbonised product ends up going into the knitwear section in the woolen side of, of apparel. The longer wools above 50 millimetres are the combing sections and that gets processed into, this, into the top, either the open top or the slither top. Once they're processed into a top, these tops are then sold or processed into yarn So the yarn is then either knitted or woven into the cloth of pure wool. And this pure wool cloth will then, of course, be made into a garment.